And now your weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. Temperatures only got up into the mid 60s today. Our average high for this time of year is 70 degrees. As a matter of fact, it was one of the cooler days we had in quite some time. We have to go all the way back to about May 29th where we had a high temperature of 64. That was over 100 days ago, and it just feels like a little change of the seasons with the breezy winds coming in out of the north and causing some gusty winds upwards of about 30 miles per hour. We were on the backside of a strong area of low pressure right now that's moving across the Ohio River Valley, but still the effects of it being felt here in northeast Wisconsin. Right now, that area of low pressure is continuing to move up into Ohio, and you can see a lot of that cloud cover backing in into parts of Wisconsin, Illinois, and Michigan with some heavy rainfall also in parts of Indiana and Michigan. Some of that is actually going to track backward as we head into the day for tomorrow. With this SORP system, there's even a severe side to it, a current, a severe, or I should say tornado watch in effect and a tornado warning. Now, this rainfall right now should be staying off towards the east tonight, but then as we head into tomorrow, that should be shifting off towards the west and gradually increasing cloud cover. So for tonight, we probably see mostly clear to partly cloudy skies, and with those clearing skies, we could have some temperatures cooling off into the upper 30s, especially away from Lake Michigan and way west of the Fox Valley. For tomorrow, we'll have a sun and cloud mix, a little bit of a light rain shower, especially along the shoreline. That's the best chance east of Highway 41. West of it, probably just a mixture of cloud cover. And then the system finally pulls out of the way, and we'll have a break before another system moves in here on Friday, and that could spark off a few showers or even perhaps a rumble of thunder as a cold front moves in, and then some cooler weather behind that. Right now, those winds, that's one of the main stories today, could sustain at about 10 to 15 miles per hour, even to 17 mile per hour sustained wind in Ephraim. But then you factor in the gusts, and we're getting anywhere from about 20 to 25 miles per hour. The winds will be subsiding tonight, but then they'll start to pick up again once tomorrow, looking like around 25 to 30 mile per hour wind gusts straight out of the north to the northeast as we head into Thursday. So right now it's 64. We've got a wind sustained 15 miles per hour. Our sunset is at 649. We're running about three hours of daylight being removed each day right now this time of year. 63 in Mountain, 64 in Shano, 61 in Kiwani, and 67 in Fond du Lac. Tonight we'll cool off to 47 with a little bit of breezy winds at about 10 to 15 miles per hour under mostly clear to partly cloudy skies. Tomorrow we'll get up to 64, a north wind at 10 to 20 miles per hour, a gust upwards of 30 miles per hour, a slight chance of a rain shower or two. 7 day forecast 74 on Friday and then some cooler weather on Saturday before we get back up into the 70s on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. And what's nice with those 70s? Lots of sunshine coming back. I love this weather. It's my favorite time of year. It's just in, right in the perfect spot in my opinion. It's great running weather. Great running weather. Great weather to get outside and enjoy the changing colors this yeah. season. Go apple picking. Wow. Well, if you, ha if you have any ideas what you should do, reach out to Nina. Yeah.